I don't know where it's playing. I'm just playing. Welcome to Gavin Brown Art Enterprises. Hey. We thank you for coming to this tonight. We thank you tonight. for staying. I know some of y'all been here listening to us talk for a long time. I hope y'all enjoyed the finger food and the sandwiches back there. They were quite tasty. And this little lemonade stuff they got, A1. A1. Get your bottle. That lemonade is good. Hello? <laughs> so, my name is Amber Hassan. My name is Shay Cobb. Oh, we got loud up in here. Yeah, we real. We are the originators of the Sister Tour. The Sister Tour is a collaborative effort where we provide a platform and resources, education, and support for women artists. Absolutely. And so without further ado, we're going to open up the show with a very dear special friend. One of the main reasons that we are, the main reason we are here tonight Please give it up for the incomparable Latoya Ruby Frazier. Woo! Hi, it's me, but only for a brief moment. But thank you all so much for staying and for joining this second part where you're actually going to see the Sister Tour perform and all the incredible talent. Uh, from Flint. I mean, there are people, singers, rappers, comedians, percussionists, tap dancers, we got it all. And I want to open this up and bless this performance with a piece uh, that I have written for you to think about. Um, my manifesto is definitely James Baldwin's creative process, and I'm going to pull a couple excerpts from that as well as speak a little truth to power. The artist is distinguished from all other responsible actors in society. The politicians, legislators, educators, and scientists by the fact that he is his own test tube, his own laboratory, working according to very rigorous rules, however unstated these may be, and cannot allow any consideration to supersede his responsibility to reveal all that he can possibly discover concerning the mystery of the human being. Society must accept some things as real, but he must always know that visible reality hides a deeper one, and that all our action and achievement rest on things unseen. A society must assume that it is stable but the artist must know, and he must let us know, that there is nothing stable under heaven. One cannot possibly build a school, teach a child, or drive a car without taking some things for granted. The artist cannot, and he must not take anything for granted, but must drive to the heart of every answer and expose the question, the answer, hides. The state of birth, suffering, love, and death are extreme states. Extreme, universal, and inescapable. We all know this, but we would rather not know it. The artist is present to correct the delusions to which we fall prey in our attempts to avoid this knowledge. That's James Baldwin's The Creative Process, written in 1962. I can't stress this enough that that is our duty and our role. So if there are artists in this room that feel lost and don't know what their role is or what an artist should be and what an artist should exemplify, pull up James Baldwin's The Creative Process and read it every morning until it becomes a part of your own manifesto in life. It has been more than three years since the man-made water crisis in Flint, Michigan. It has been 1,399 days since the corrosive Flint River caused lead to leach into the water system, homes, businesses, and bodies of Flint residents. There is an estimate of 29,100 homes that need service lines replaced. 
which has created a massive decrease in property value in addition to poisoning the residents. After Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders had their debate in Flint, we stopped thinking about the men, women, and children in Flint. After all the celebrities made their cameo appearance in Flint, we stopped caring about the health and safety of the people in Flint. After the mainstream media televised President Barack Obama take a sip of Flint water, every single last one of you were deceived into believing that this man-made water crisis was over. I am here to tell all of you right now, tonight, that this man-made water crisis in Flint, Michigan is far from over. Although Flint's water supply has been switched back to Lake Huron, it has been two years since Governor Rick Snyder's public apology and residents in Flint still do not have new water service lines. Let me educate you in the words of the great Stuart Hall. Racism never has been put in a critical context by the media in this country. When it comes to fighting racism, the media are part of the problem. They perpetuate myths and stereotypes about black people. They lie by omission, distortion, and selection. They give racist inflated importance and respectability. Number 45. Let me put this on your conscience. Flint residents are forced to drink cook with and even bathe in bottled water while still paying some of the highest water bills in the country for their poison water. In 2001 and 2002, the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality issued permits to Nestle, the largest water bottling company in the world, to pump up to 400 gallons of water per minute from aquifers that feed Lake Michigan. Nestle is not required to pay anything to extract the water besides a small permitting fee to the host and to the state and at the cost of leases to a private landowner. In fact, the company received 13 million in tax breaks from the state to locate the plant in Michigan. The spokesperson for Nestle is Michigan is Deborah Muchmore. The spokesperson is Deborah Muchmore, and she is the wife of Dennis Muchmore, Governor Rick Snyder's chief of staff, who just retired and registered to be a lobbyist. Let me break down from you what I've learned from the American Academy of Pediatrics. Given the disproportionate risk of low-income children and families, the impact of lead exposure in communities like Flint can be enormous. Children under the age of six years are more likely to have lead pass into their brain compared to adults due to the immaturity of the barrier of their brain. Lead is distributed into the blood, soft tissues, and then into the bone. Once it gets into the bone, it can be there for 10 to 25 years, depending on the length of exposure. When lead is ingested, it is directly absorbed into the body. In fact, children absorb more lead through the GI tract, with 70% being absorbed in children compared to 20% for adults. Women who are pregnant or breastfeed have an elevated level levels, may increase the release of lead from the bone, resulting in the fetus having higher exposures and increased risk of neurotoxicity. Children with elevated lead levels are more likely to have behavioral problems, attention deficit and reading disabilities, and fail to graduate from high school. 
In Flint, Michigan, there are approximately 8,000 children under the age of six. Let me just make it plain and straight for you right now. Black people in America do not choose to be poor. Through systemic and institutional racism, along with racist public policies that impact our housing, our education, our access to health care, access to clean environments and grocery stores with fresh quality food, we have been sentenced to a slow, painful death while governors like Rick Snyder are still in office. This is state-sanctioned murder. I repeat, this is state-sanctioned murder. Some of you are gonna go home tonight and you're gonna read that there in fact was a settlement in Flint. Upon closer inspection, you will realize that now documents state that it will take through 2020 to replace the pipes in the city of Flint. I want you to imagine what your life would be like if you did not have access to clean drinking water for six years. Imagine what would happen to your mind, body, and spirit if you had, didn't have access to clean water for 2,190 days. If what I'm saying bears any witness in your heart, I want you to take action starting tonight. One, stop supporting Nestle products, especially Nestle bottled water. No more bottled water. Two, start educating yourself on the water war in America. There is 94% of all our tap water in the US is contaminated with plastic. Three, turn off the mass media and start listening and seeking out local artists in Flint, Michigan. There are incredibly resilient artists, as we have seen tonight, across Flint, Michigan, that have found creative solutions to remedy this man-made disaster. But they need your support. Four, as I said before, you can support local artists, you can support the Sister Tour right now by buying the print that is right outside by the door. And now I will close with this message from one of James Baldwin's dear friends who was assassinated 50 years ago. On April 4th, 1967, in his speech, The Three Evils of Society, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave us a message and a grave warning. We, as a nation, must undergo a radical revolution of values when machines and computers, profit motives and property rights are considered more important than people, the giant triplets of racism, materialism, and militarism are incapable of being conquered. So I welcome to you the Sister Tour. Latoya, we need you to come back up here, please. <laughs> so, um, you heard about me and Shay's schedules earlier. So, um, me and Shay started January 14th of 2017 when we decided we were going to do the sister tour. We also started working on a book, and the book is titled Ruby in the Rough, and it is. It was 16? Okay, so. The, we emailed the book back and forth to each other. The book is a dedication to Latoya. It was supposed to be ready today so that we could give her a copy, but instead we're going to give her the first original manuscript of the book for her to have. Um, the book should, it should be available by next Friday on the sistertour.com. So if you want to purchase that book, it will be available on Amazon and any other sites where you, you know, buy books. But it will also be available at the sistertour.com. So me and Shay are going to read um, an excerpt from that book and then we'll give you the um, manuscript. So <laughs> we love you and we appreciate you. And it's the only way we know how to show our love and appreciation. So no problem. I 
right here because we gotta read it because we don't know it by heart. So I will give you the rest of it. But that is the manuscript. Yes. Yes. So, um, you ready? Yes. And none of the pieces have any titles. They're just like part one, part two, part three, part four, because like I said, we were emailing back and forth to each other. So some pieces got moved around and um, we just made it into a complete project. Ready? It's always the big things that we take in vain, not realizing the importance until we're feeling pain. It is always the little things that we take in vain, shooting in our, into our existence until nothing but little things remain. Why do we complain? Why must we restrain? How do we maintain? Quite simple. Sunshine and summer rain, arms outstretched with smiles to the sky. Thankful is the spirit. Grateful is the life. Who was I before this moment of clarity? What was I looking at before? Did I really see? I was so blind trying to discover if there were any people like me. No idea I had to accept love from so far a hand till I saw you stand the same stance in the sunshine and summer rain. Remember your youth and call it good, not naive or stupid because in truth, your youth is the very best version of you. And how crazy is it to let the experiences we face take away healthy perception of self? Let's revolutionize the world then and then and remind them of who they can be by being who we are. National, local, famous family stars, born to keep close the recipes of love, friendship, and good wine. Take flight with me and whisper through every poem and every picture the keys to unlock the forgotten souls of you so we can stop losing to a world of fickle adults who question everything and pray for answers, waiting on salvation. Vanity makes them think that they are chosen, so they wait, frozen by fear of failure and lack of faith in their own fight, lack of faith in their own light, afraid of their own darkness, but we dwell in it out of spite. We'll save face before saving a life, so we prepare swords and pens. It's either kill or right. I ain't no killer, but don't push me. Right? You don't know my power. The whole world came from black pussy. Every pulse and pulsation, every rhythm and vibration, every drop of sustenance and libation. Mothers of creation, we make miracles. Manifestations of love, wearing our big girl pants and our ruby slippers. There is no place like home. 